Hey, Dad, the, the referees are really getting it in the papers. And uh, what, what's your take on them, the, these games? And on TV, too. The world is upside down. It used to be when you went into the playoffs, you knew the referees were, were going, as they say in the papers, put their whistle in their back pocket. Yeah, they, what they do is they let, and that's why the, the, the playoffs are so great. And the, and the referees are doing the same thing. They haven't caught, I just hope they don't change. Now, the thing that they're doing that upsets a lot of people and guys like me is they'll go along, they'll let murder go along, and I love it. Then all of a sudden they'll call a chintzy penalty. And that's got, that costs, uh, you know, when you do that, that costs you a game. Yeah, well, it, it, as they say, the world's kind of upside down because before everybody was complaining that, that they were calling too many penalties. And, the, and the, the press and the fans were saying, oh, the referees are calling too many, they're ruining it. And now this year they're saying they're not calling enough penalties. No, and you know what? You can't call a chintzy penalty. For instance, and I go way back to Boston Bruins. I know I cheer for the Boston Bruins. I remember that near the end of the period, they were they, it was a terrific game, and he called a penalty, and uh, they scored, and it was one nothing. And, you know, the first goal, Cassidy was upset. Now, when the coach gets upset like that, players get upset. The Boston Bruins were never the same after that. Well, it, and it all seems to work out because remember the, the Islanders were mad that Tampa scored a goal. I don't know if it was an overtime, but scored a big goal, and they said there were seven men on the ice. And Trotz, Barry Trotz went, you know, he was all upset. And then they were down by a goal in game, I forget what game it was, they were down by a goal, uh, Tampa was, and they had their goalie pulled, and they're really pressing, and they give the most chintzy penalty on Hedman. Like, you look and you go, I can't believe they called that penalty, and so it all kind of works out in the wash. It all comes out in the wash, as they say. And um, but I saw one thing that that in that game, I guess it would have been game six that you said was uh, Mayfield of the Islanders. He really gave a nice short little cross check to Kruchov or uh, uh, Kucherov, and look, he might have broke his ribs. But you said he he, he cross checked him just the way you say to cross check a guy. I, I'm not going to. I'm not. Don't ba- make a great big cross check because the guy will fall down. You take a little short one, and you know, and and you just got to find the right spot. That's an awful thing to say, but uh, you, you have to know how to cross check. You got him right underneath, right layer, right underneath. I don't want to talk ch- anymore about it. <laughs> All right.